hello, hello. Um, oh my gosh, it was so bright in here. So bright all morning and now it's like dark. So maybe 10, 11 a.m. is my sweet spot for lighting because it is, that's so annoying. Anyways, uh, I'm Julia. We're going to style um, a denim button up down shirt five different ways for, for spring and summer. I did a poll on my, I did a poll on my Instagram stories and the denim top, these are really dope, Amazon $10. The um, denim top one over the pleated maxi skirt. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna sell it five different ways. Um, I'm gonna try to link as much as I can. Last week, my, I don't know, something was happening and I couldn't and whatever. Um, my hair may look a little silly because I tried curling it and it didn't work out for me and I need to hurry up and film this so I can move on with my day. So this ponytail is just what it is. Love it. Uh, uh, last, lastly, before we get started, I'm wearing the name crawlers from my shop, shopjuliemarie.com. Am I like close enough? Can you see it? My nose, shopjuliemarie.com and the Carrie name necklace. This is on a 14 inch chain and then the 3D bar necklace. Um, can you see it? Can you see it? You can get like four different names and you can even do like Julia and Marie on one end. Um, that's all. Let's get started. Peace. But not peace. Hello. I had a lot of watch. Leave me alone. Here is the denim shirt that we're going to style five different ways. It is a basic chambray top. I picked this up at Old Navy. I think it was probably like, I don't know, on sale for like $15. And I think that the white button detailing makes it perfectly summer appropriate. So our first denim on denim look is with a similar um, wash in denim. This is actual denim, this is chambray, but this is a medium wash denim. And they're a little bit more casual because we have the uh, rips in the knee and the distressing, the raw hem with a little bit of distressing at the ankle. I have made them casual with these fun lemon jelly slides, which I'm like obsessed with. And then you can do a fun handbag, some colorful earrings, just keep it really casual and cute, uh, my hair is in a little ponytail. I think this would be super dope with like, hold on, <laughs> with a straw fedora. This is all the way wrong. This is my pool hat, so um, I need to get a new one that's better, but with like a straw fedora, be super cute. Uh, it's casual. I think just, yeah, it's just casual and it's cute. And of course you can tie this up or just wear it all the way down. Just however you're, I look so stupid. However you're feeling that day. So we have one other denim on denim look. I could definitely do five denim, full denim looks with a button down, but we're gonna give you guys some variety today. So we have our chambray button down. <laughs> just, I'm leaving it open just because I'm changing so many times. You can, um, you can leave it unbuttoned just so whenever you walk, you get, I hate, hold on. I can't hold a clutch. So whenever you walk, you get a little wind shows a little waistband. You can tie it up if you'd like and then show a little bit more curves. And then you can of course leave it down fully buttoned. You can do a half tuck. You have many options here, but I've paired it with a classic pair of dark high rise um, skinny jeans just to give it a more polished look. We have some nude platform um, heel. Oh shit, you can't even see my feet platform heels and then a leopard clutch just to give it a um just more of a going out vibe what do you do happy hour drinks with the girls girls night out um yeah there we go mm -hmm. now you guys know i love a dress with some sneakers so of course i had to get at least one look in with um a skirt and sneakers so i just did a basic high-rise midi skirt this one was like 12 dollars from h and m and then we've tied up our top to meet right at the top of the waistband. And then just paired our look with some classic Nike Cortez. I don't know where you're going, but you are a bad bitch. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Okay. Uh-oh. I know my bracelets are loud. I try not to wear them when I do this. 
So here we have a jumpsuit. This is really old, guys. I'll, um, I'll untie the top and show you the jumpsuit. But just a wide leg jumpsuit. And what we did, and side note, not even side note before we get into it. So what we did here, or what you can do to, um, to whatever, to do this look yourself. You don't have to have a jumpsuit. You can do a maxi dress or, you know, just really any dress that you want. Or over a pant, like if you had on a basic tank and a pair of pants and you wanted to tie this over it just for like that kind of beachy look, you're just going to unbutton the top completely and tie it up right below your breasts, your breast, and then you're gonna tuck it up in the back so that you can't see. Oh my God, my, my ass is eating these up, isn't it? Can't tell. Anyways, so this is um, that look. I like to tell you I was gonna show you the jumpsuit. This is one of my favorite jumpsuits. It's legit 10 years old, um, but it has remained in the arsenal through everything. So this is the jumpsuit. It doesn't have any sleeves. It's just sleeveless. That's my bra. Um, some people wear button downs while we're already here. I would not suggest wearing a button down open with a wide leg jumpsuit, but some people do wear a their button downs like a jacket, like a lightweight jacket or a cardigan. I don't care for it. It's just not my personal style. I don't see anything wrong with it at all though. So that's another, that's a sixth way. We just kind of slid in there. We have one more look, so let's get to it. Oh, last look. So we have a midi. This is a little longer than a midi. I think it's just because I'm a little short and maybe I should have gone a size down. <laughs> a midi bodycon dress. And we did nude sandals. These are one of my, this is like my favorite style. I would really, really love the Valentino rock studs, but the way my goals and budget are set up, this is what we have, not Valentino's. That's okay. Um, but we did a midi bodycon tank dress. I could not be bothered to switch out for proper undergarments, so my bra it is. And we just took the, um, old, we old schooled it and just wrapped the denim shirt around your waist. If it gets cold, you can always put it on and wear it like a jacket. You can tie it up so you still get the warmth of your um, back, chest, and arms being covered. <clears throat> and that's that's kind of that. That's kind of that. I don't so there you guys have it. Five ways to style a um, denim button down for spring slash summer. And of course you can style any button down this way. A, a, white, a white one would be really cute and nice for summer. A printed one, a color one, whatever you want. Um, there's just there's so much that you can do with button downs. Like so much that you can do. Um, so I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. I highly recommend a button down. Um, I feel like we could easily do like 20 ways to style a button down. But this is the rule of five, not the rule of 20. So I gave you five ways. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you're on YouTube watching this and not on my website, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you guys next week with, I don't know, five ways to style something else. We're, we'll find out when we get there, won't we? Yes, we will. Bye.